the DJ is my bodyguard. You see the way he keeps me safe with the treble and the bass. I feel free and everybody, it's me, Brianna, and today I'm going to talk about how to maintain your weave while still taking care of your hair underneath it. Um, this weave has been in my hair for about two months now, and I usually keep my weave in for about two and a half to maybe three months. Um, this is a Remy Velvet in my hair. I have two bundles. I have a 10-inch and a 14-inch, um, and it's, it's rather long, if you can see. Um, right now, it's about 90 degrees outside, so it's extremely hot. So to prevent my hair from being all on my neck and just driving me crazy, I did put it in a fishtail braid, and you can see I'm starting to have some flowers come out of it because I've had this in all day. But anyways, let's get started on how to maintain your weave. Now, if you watch my videos regularly, you know I love oils. I love my coconut oil, my grapeseed oil, my olive oil, my castor oil. I love, I love oils, period. But one thing I've learned over time is that do not apply oils to your extensions if you want to keep them looking good for an extended amount of time. There are a couple reasons why you should not apply oils. One of the main reasons why is because over time, your hair will start to tangle and it will start to mat and it just will not look good. Um, the oil gets to your hair and it starts to stick together and it just prevents your hair from being, from living up to its fullest potential. Another reason why you should not apply oils to your fake hair is because over time your hair will start to get really greasy and it won't have a luster, it'll just be super shiny and it, you won't be able to do too much with it, it'll weigh your hair down and it just won't look good. And good hair will have a little luster shine to it. When you apply oils to your hair, including oil sheen, it just makes your hair look really shiny and not in the really good shiny way, in the looks like synthetic Vaseline was rubbed on your hair type. You don't want that. The only type of oil I will use on my weave is I will use um, Cream of Nature Argyle Oil Gloss and Shine Polisher. And I got this from um, any, I got this from the BSS, but you know, any beauty, any, any beauty supply store should carry this. And um, the reason why I will use this is because your weave does have silicone on it. They do put a little silicone on it just to make it a little shinier when you um, get the hair in the package. Now, it's shiny as in a luster shiny, not greasy shiny. Let me clarify that. So, sometimes when I wash my hair, my hair will start to get a little dull. And what I'll do is I'll wash it and while it's still um, a little wet, I'm going to say damp, but more, more, more dry than wet, I'll take just a tad bit of this and I'll rub it together and I will apply it to my hair, brush it through, and then let it dry. And that way it still has a little luster to it when it starts to get dull. However, I do not use a lot of this. I use very little, which is why, you know, it looks like I haven't used any at all because I don't use much. Um, now, I would not put this on my real hair just because the ingredients are like... Something something cone, something something cone, something something cone. Like there's a bunch of, there's a whole bunch of silicones in this oil, which is wonderful for your fake hair because like once again, you know, it has a little luster to it. But like I said, I only use this every now and then when my hair does start to look a little dull. And this is again cream of nature argyle oil and this is not the same as the argyle oil review I had um about a year ago. This does not have the same ingredients um orgal oil is not like yeah it, it's not one of the top ingredients so it's definitely not the real thing this is definitely diluted oil which works perfect for your fake hair but not so much for your real hair now to maintain my hair underneath i am transitioning so when you are transitioning your hair does tend to get dry quite frequently and start to itch um, two things I will do to keep my real hair um, from going bad, I guess, is I still use I still use my castor oil. However, I'm extremely careful, and with my castor oil, I just grease my edges. And what I'll do is I'll put my hair in a ponytail, and I will um, clip my bangs. And then I'll take some castor oil and rub it 
on my edges and temples and on the back and that's just to prevent my hair from thinning out because um, my hair was starting to thin out from the weave and the really tight braids. So now I do put the castor oil on my hair just to um, keep my edges from thinning out and breaking off. But I make sure not to apply it to my weave. I'm very careful about that. Now my hair underneath my weave, I do use grease and this is the mango butter grease and I'm extremely extremely careful with this what I'll do is I will section my hair in four I'll have four sections of my hair you know two in the front two in the back and each section I will take a little bit of grease and I will grease the my parts where my braids are where my braids are so um right now my braids are in a vertical pattern so when I part them in four, I will grease the little parts that are exposed. And this is just um, mango butter hair dress. And I don't think pretty much any grease will do you justice. It's just as long as you don't, you know, take a whole bunch and throw it in your hair. Just a little bit, just to keep your hair from drying out and getting flaky and getting itchy. Now, like I said, this is a sew-in, so every now and then I do need to wash it. Now, I do have a little um, leave-out. Um, I'm going to say about that much, just a little bit. And when it comes time when my hair gets dirty, I will wash my hair. And with my real hair, I will wash with my olive oil shampoo and my deep conditioner. And I love this conditioner. It makes my hair so soft. Um, it, it does tend to have like a little residue to it if I keep it in too long. But just for my little section of my hair, I will wash it and I'll take the little conditioner part and, you know, I'll put the conditioner in it. Then I'll like wrap it up and then I'll work on my fake hair. Now for my fake hair, I use some cheap shampoo and conditioner and I use my VO5 moisturizing shampoo. And um, this is in cashmere. Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells like, mm, it smells like cocoa butter mixed with vanilla. And I love those like sugary smells. But I use my VO5 shampoo and conditioner on my um, fake hair. And you know, I just wash it through and I use this comb and this got this from Sally's. This is a comb specialized for washing your hair and I'll just wash it and shampoo it and then um, let it dry. I do not towel dry my fake hair and the reason why I do not do that is because it start like when you towel dry your hair it's like friction and it gets frizzy and you don't I don't want frizzy so usually what I'll do after I wash my hair is I will just you know wring it out and then I'll let the rest dry on its own or if I'm in an extreme rush, I will blow dry it myself or sit under a dryer. In order to blend my um, transitioning rear hair with my straight Remy, uh, I do have to flat arm my hair. I do use a heat protectant, and it says Beyond the Zone Turn Up Heat Heat Flat Arm Protection. And I do like this. I just spray like one little mist, and I will... Um, massage it in let it dry and use my flat arm the flat arm I use right now is just a regular flat arm it's not the best but I mean it works for me and it's a Revlon flat arm it's a little baby flat arm so it works wonderful for my bangs which are a leave out and also what I do after I wash my hair is I do apply my it's a 10 miracle leave-in to my leave out just to condition it and to leave it um and to make it makes it softer so I wash my hair with the olive oil shampoo and conditioner then um, I let it air dry a little bit then I spray on one mist of my it's a 10 miracle leave-in and then after that I spritz a little heat protectant on it and then flat on it and I am good to go I try not to flat on my hair every single day because once again you know it is my real hair and I don't want to take my my hair out and I have like my wonderful hair and then it's leave out that looks all heat damaged and horrible. One of the ways I maintain my hair being straight, and right now it's not that straight as you can see. It's it's a little puffy because I haven't flooded on my hair in about two days. But what I'll do when I go to bed is I'll take a satin scarf and I will tie my hair up completely straight. I mean, well, I'll, I'll tie my hair up just like that to keep this down and then I'll put my um, fake hair in a ponytail and then I'll cover it up 
with a bonnet. And I used to wrap my hair, but I've noticed that when I put in a ponytail, it just, for me, I think it lasts longer. I think, once again, it helps with it not, especially with this being long hair. I think it helps with it not getting extremely tangly and matting. So, at night, like I said, just take a scarf and put it over your hair so your real hair stays down. And then put your fake hair in a ponytail and put in a bonnet. And then next day when you wake up, you're good to go. Just take your hair out the ponytail. It may have like a little bit of a wave to it, but it doesn't have, but don't put it in a tight ponytail as well. Put it in a very loose ponytail. And that way it helps to maintain your weave and it's easy and you don't have to keep flat ironing your hair every day. Since I am transitioning, um, my edges sometimes tend to get out of control. And what I use for my edges is I use um, Carrot Care Edge Tamer. And this stuff is amazing. Um, I put a little bit on my edges. I brush a little bit and it keeps my edges straight. And for me to be, I'm transitioning, I'm about, I don't know, haven't had a relax, so maybe, I'm saying think in October. Yeah, October. Haven't burned since October. So, you know, um, it, it's been over six months. And I use the edge tamer on my edges, and it keeps my edges looking nice, and it's not super, super puffy. When it comes to brushing your hair, always brush your hair from the end to the top. Don't go like this. Go like that. Because when you brush your hair from the top to the bottom, for one, it helps to pull out your weave. Um, it helps to loosen up your sewing. You can get tangles when that way. When you brush way. your hair from the from the end to the top, you know, you have the ends in your brush. So any tangles you have in the end, you're just getting the end. And then you work your way up, and that way you don't loosen your sew ends so easily. So this is how I maintain my sew ends. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, comment. I try my hardest to comment back in a timely manner. Um, if you have any suggestions as well, please let me know as far as video suggestions go. And anyways, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day.